G'day Gavin, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota giving you the virtual tour of our Toyota Prado VX for the drive away price of $33,990. Uh, mate, before I show you through the VX, what I thought I'd do is, uh, is show you who Pacific Toyota are. Um, so mate, if you haven't been here before, this is us. Uh, mate, we are located in Cairns, tropical North Queensland. Uh, mate, uh, here in Cairns we actually have two premium used car locations. Um, at the moment we're on our main site. And about two kilometers down the main uh, road of Cairns, we have our second used car lot. Now between the two yards, we can sort of stock in excess of about 160 to 180 vehicles at any given time. And as you can probably see from the video, mate, we are well stocked up at the moment. Um, directly opposite us across the road is our two brand new uh, showrooms. So we have the Lexus of Cairns showroom and our new vehicle sales team uh, for Toyota. Behind them, we also have our spare parts and our parts department. Uh, we also have uh, Hino trucks and also opposite lock four drive accessories. Uh, mates, uh, we recently just took out uh, number one Toyota used car dealer for Australia. Uh, so, mate, it's a, uh, an achievement that we are quite proud of here at uh, Pacific Toyota. But, uh, mates, uh, without further ado, we'll get to the VX and show you through the car. All right, so basically what the virtual tour does is it shows you through the entire vehicle. Um, so I'm going to take you through all the paint and panel work, obviously the engine bay, uh, through the interior, the car's service history, all those sorts of things. Uh, mate, along the way, if there are any discrepancies on the uh, on the vehicle, I will point them out. Obviously, um, that way when the car gets to you or when you come and view it, there's no nasty surprise and you know exactly what you're looking at. All right, so we'll just pop the bonnet here, give you a look underneath the, underneath the hood. So as you can see, nice and tidy through there. Nice and clean under the hood there. Give you a look down the front of the bonnet. So there's no visible um, dents down the bonnet, which is fantastic. There are a couple of little stone chips here um, that I'm more than happy to get a bit of touch up paint on for you. Uh, a couple of little light scratch marks. Should be able to get those out with a, uh, with a buff. Um, so I'll take you through the front bar now. So straight away you can see that we do have the front facing sensors and also the high pressure jet that which washes your um, your globe here you know, for bug splatter. A couple of little stone chips along the front bar. Again, more than happy to try and get some touch up paint on them and uh, fix them up. But nonetheless, through the front area, obviously apart from those couple of little stone chips on the up bonnet and the couple just here, uh, makes it uh, really nice and tidy. Uh, for the year model of the vehicle. So what we'll do now, I'll show you up the uh, driver's side panels. Uh, mate, as you can probably see from the video, it's uh, nice and clean through there. I can see one slight little pin dent, pin dent just under the uh, driver's side uh, door handle. Um, mate, if I get close enough, I will uh, should be able to show you that uh, on the video. Again, a couple of little light scratch marks just on the paintwork here on the wheel arch. Uh, should be able to get those out with a buff also. Again, being really picky now. Uh, just a couple of little marks on the uh, side mirror. So that slight little dent, I don't know if the camera's showing that up. It's just here. Working our way through now to the rear of the car. Again, just a, another couple of little marks just here. Moving our way through to the rear of the car. Spare wheel cover. Uh, you got your reversing camera up in there and also your reversing sensors across the rear. Everything seems to be a nice clean uh, order in the back. So now to the back of the car. So with these seven seats, a couple of marks on the um, plastics there, um, and same on the back for the door also. Makes uh, the seats are all electric in the VX, as you can see. Head 
this just pops up like so. To release, you just pull on that tab. And press down and it locks back itself. So that's for both seats there. Got a 100 watts um, uh, socket in the back also, which is pretty much standard with all the uh, uh, Prados and 200 series these days. Um, so mate, uh, that's the rear of the car. So we'll go down the passenger side now for you. So we'll do the same again that we did on the driver's side. So through all those panels. Mate, I can't see anything wrong with this side at all. No, no uh, pin dents or uh, ripples in the panel work, which is fantastic. Uh, so just taking you through, obviously, the paint work now. Slight little mark just here. Bit of water. Little mark just there. Other than that, everything else seems to be nice and tidy uh, down the passenger side. So you've got your uh, factory alloy wheels there. Uh, tires have got plenty of tread life left on them. Roof racks on the top. Show you through the second row of seats. See nice and tidy through the rear here as well. So you've got your rear air conditioning controls uh, for the back passengers. So your air conditioning goes from the front all the way through to the back. Obviously with the VX as well, you do get the leather interior. I have just noticed there is a bit of paintwork damage on this door handle here. Again, more than happy to get some touch up paint on that. Service history, mate, the car has been a local car here in Cairns. Uh, mate, looks like a uh, uh, one of the owners for the uh, business, um, Cunningham Builders, so I'd say that was the owner's vehicle. Um, so the service history here, so we've got service at 10, again at 21, 32, 44, 50's not there. And that's your 50,000k service there at 44. Again at 65. Again at 80. Again at 95. And then again at 111. That was obviously the last service there. Uh, so mate, as you can probably see from the video, um, it's been well serviced and kept with us the whole time. Um, so I'm at a full... I guess a full Toyota logbook service history, uh, nonetheless. Um, so we'll just jump inside the driver's side now. Just give it a bit of a rev so you can hear it. The vehicle will come with two remote keys, as you can see. Let's turn down this radio. Uh, so my current kilometers on the vehicle are 112, 197. Um, mate, uh, take you through all, obviously all the instrumentals now. Um, obviously we've got all your stereo controls on the left hand side, uh, all your Bluetooth and center screen controls on your right hand side. We've got uh, your cruise control options there. Down over here we also have your side mirrors and your push button start. Down here, obviously, all your uh, window controls as well and central locking. Moving through to infotainment uh, system setup. Uh, so this screen here, obviously, displays your reverse camera. We move forward. Uh, we have all your crew, uh, climate control settings. So uh, obviously, with the VX, you do get dual zone climate. Uh, so each side can have their ideal temperature, which is fantastic. Just by turning the dial here, you can change the passenger. Obviously, the driver temperatures. Uh, down through there, obviously, uh, your generic radio. Um, obviously equipped with uh, with Bluetooth. You do have USB and AUX as well. Moving down, uh, we've got your downhill assist control, uh, your center differential lock, and your full drive options. 
A um, couple of cup holders just in there. Automatic gearbox, so park, reverse, neutral drive, and then uh, into your, uh, I guess, your sport shift. Um, so that one there, you can change up and down through the gears, uh, which is fairly handy. Uh, down here, we have your, um, obviously, AUX and your USB. We've also got your 12 volt auxiliary port just here, and your uh, heated seats as well for the pa um, passenger and driver seats, um, which is, uh, I guess a bonus uh, if you're down south, but up here, um, not really necessary. <laughs> uh, moving right, off, right along, we have your glove box here, or center console, mind you. Couple of little spots to uh, to put um, some stuff in. Obviously, you've got your passenger seat there. Mate, uh, no cracks in, the, um, in any of the leather, as you can probably see. Nice and tidy. No cracks in any of the dash. I'll just show you through the dash. So this vehicle does not come with statutory warranty. As it's outside the uh, age limit. Um, however, we can um, put a, uh, a three-year mechanical protection plan, which would obviously take you out for three years or 175,000 kilometers. Uh, more than happy to have a bit of a chat with you about that. It is, uh, it is definitely something to, uh, to consider. Um, I'll just turn this off and give you another final look at the vehicle. All righty, Gavin. So that is our 2009 VX Prado for 33.990. Uh, mate, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Uh, but, uh, mate, I hope you enjoy this video. Cheers.